Today's review of the government's bovine TB strategy takes 135 pages to say pretty much the same thing. Current efforts aren't working. Farmers must try harder not to spread the disease. Inquiry concluded that killing badgers to try to reduce TB in cattle would not be cost effective. Britain's badger population could be pushed to the brink of a local extinction after the government did a U-turn on its measures to tackle TB in cattle. A report says the spread of tuberculosis in cattle is mainly the result of cow-to-cow -cow contamination. Culling badgers hasn't made much of a difference, so farmers will now have to do more to protect their animals. Critics say their evidence raises questions about the humanity or the humaneness of the policy. Badgers are shy creatures. They're nocturnal and this is one of the reasons why most people have never seen one live. They are one of Britain's most ancient species, but we are now systematically wiping them out across the country under the cover of darkness. Although a protected species, shooters can obtain licenses from Natural England, and this is part of a licensed cull campaign. But what is the truth? And what does this mean for Britain's badgers and the habitats and ecosystems where they live? Bovine tuberculosis, BTB, is a highly infectious zoonotic fatal disease that mainly affects cows. It can also infect other mammals such as rats, foxes, deer and humans. In the 1960s, BTB was reduced significantly by farmers stopping the spread of disease amongst cows. Over the last 20 years, the number of cattle with BTB has increased. This has been said to be caused by an intensification of dairy farming, fewer cattle testing and movement controls. Badger culling in the UK is the act to reduce numbers in the hope of controlling the spread of bovine tuberculosis. It is permitted under licence within an area. With this year's cull, it will take the total to over 200,000. It is believed that this is leading to local extirpations, which is in breach of the International Burn Convention to which the UK is signed up. Cattle to cattle transmission is far and away the main cause of bovine TB. The disease is essentially a respiratory one Badgers and cattle rarely ever meet, so how can badgers, which spend 75% of their time underground, be infecting them? The cull is a scandal. It's ineffective, it's costly, it's cruel and politically driven, and widely condemned as unscientific. There are no scientific conclusions that can be drawn from the pilot culls and have been described as an epic failure by the chair of Natural England's Scientific Advisory Committee in 2014. The most comprehensive scientific study of the effect of badger culling on levels of bovine TB in badgers in cattle, which ran from 1998 to 2006, concluded that Badger culling can make no meaningful contribution to cattle TB control in Britain. It is an unjustified slaughter of the protected species and makes a mockery of the Wildlife and Countryside Act. Thousands of badgers have been killed despite the opposition of independent scientists animal welfare organisations and a huge percentage of the public. There are many alternatives to culling them. They can be vaccinated. We can improve the living conditions, the health and welfare of cows so they are less likely to catch the disease. We can improve biosecurity so that BTB is not spread to new areas. 
we can accelerate the introduction of BCG vaccine for cows. So why not help Britain's badgers? There is so much that you can do. They need your voice. They need it today. Contact your MP and ask them to vocally oppose the cull and urge their party to commit to ending the cull if they form the next government. When the cull starts, join a peaceful wounded badger patrol by getting in touch with the local patrols. Share this video on your social media. Lobby MPs. Join your local badger group. Join the Wildlife Trust. Spread the word and advocate for badgers.